Good morning, Alexandra. So the purpose of this video is to clarify the what I meant by the, the names and the naming to be consistent between hospitals and also between the experiments and the, and the results. So I'm starting here, starting with the database, hospital database uh, that you sent me. And as you can see in the database, there's information about each hospital, including the, the address, the state, county, zip code. And finally, the, the naming that you're using to represent each one of the hospitals in the, in the experiments and in your results. So, so this, is the, this is the main source of information because this database is linked in your naming with, the, with each one of the hospitals. So if I need to go and interpret your results, then I'll have to come here and see, okay, if I'm looking at C20 something, I'll come here and I'm going to identify which hospital you're referring to using this database. Okay, so I want you to pay attention to this. Uh, I'm gonna pick one, one of the hospitals, uh, the one in Del Rio, which name is six, C64. Okay, so, and I open the maps that you sent me yesterday night, um, looking at the results. And I see that the Rio has only one hospital. So that's why I choose the Rio. The name is not consistent. This database, database is saying the name is C64, whereas here the name is C C59. So first, the names in the database have to match the names in the maps. And also names in the database have to match the name in, in the results. Because I don't have the names here for the hospital. The only thing that I have is this code. So if I want to know what, which hospital is E46, I have to come here and match that number with the database. Okay, so right now that's not happening. There's no matching between the database and the maps. Um, then I go to experiment one. Uh, which I, I, I didn't receive an update for this experiment, so I assume that that map didn't change, so I opened the map that you sent me on Saturday. So you see, now I have three different names for the Rio. I have C25, C59, and in the database, the name is C64. So again, if, if for, for this, what I'm asking you to do is that this name, if it is C64, it has to be C64 here in this map, has to be C64 in this map, and it has to be C64 in the database. Because that's the only way that I'm going to know which hospital belongs or which hospital you're, you're discussing in the results. So I need to match those numbers with the database. Then finally, that has to be consistent also with the results. So if you are using C64 in the database to represent the Rio, that has to show the, that has to show in the maps for all the maps and also for the results, the Rio has to be represented by C64. So here, the Rio should be C64 if you are using the name in the database. Here, the Rio should be C64. Here, the Rio should be C64. So the name has to be, for each hospital, the name has to be the same in the database, in the results, and in the maps. So right now, I'm not getting that. So I, I want this video to help you understand what I'm trying to, to convey in terms of the, how the data and how the information should look like. So I hope this helped. I'm sending you an email with the link. I'm also writing down the, the explanation. So let me know if you have any questions.